brand new day. Um, I'm black, am I? So, with every night I go to bed and wake up in the morning, I'm reminded of the fact that I'm getting closer to when I need to bring the girls back. And I want to sweep my room. I have hair all over the place. So I want to sweep. My vacuum cleaner is bad. I'm trying to watch a YouTube video to see if I can fix it. If the girls were around, say if I won't have room but that because I would be just too occupied and I'll just leave it. But now that they're not around, let me try and see if I can fix it. Because I don't even know anybody that fixes vacuum cleaner. My husband has gone out. I don't know. This man is trying to confuse my life. He asked me one if I want to eat plantain, egg and turkey. And I'm like, sounds so good, but when you cook it now, I will start cleaning the kitchen. Like Honestly, I don't want to cook. I don't want to have to clean my kitchen. I don't want to do anything. Yesterday we bought food and the food was so filling that I only ate a piece of chicken for dinner and that was good. And I think he ate bread and stew for dinner, washed his plates and then we're good. So now that he's saying he wants to make plantain, chicken, and plantain, egg and turkey, I'm like, you fry the plants, you fry the egg, cook the turkey. I'm really not ready. Like I'm not ready. Yeah, let's 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 get the day started. Let's let's start my day. Bluetooth connected. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover as you guys spend the day with us, but. Mr. Abang is going to be joining me in for this voiceover. Um, so basically, in the morning, like I mentioned before, he decided that he wanted to eat fries and a lot of cholesterol. So I decided to join him this morning and he went to the market actually. He bought all the food stuff, so he's here with me. Hi guys, I'm joining my wife today for this voiceover and I hope you enjoy it. Taking time away Posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me, faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me, cause baby, I'm on high and eat us. I'm on high. So I cannot walk without listening to music. Like, just give me good music from speakers and I will clean my house from top to bottom and go over and over and over again. I love music and my favorite songs to listen to usually are mostly Khalid. I don't know, somehow I lean towards Khalid, Alina Barras and this other girl. I don't know, this girl that looks strange. What's her name? Oh, I can't remember her name but those are the kind of songs I listen to when I'm cleaning. Hey, hey. very unusual though but um, once in a while i love to cook and um yeah, you can what see can you cook? i can cook anything <laughs> uh, that's why uh, if i can't do so much i'll use youtube now <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm i can cook I'll look cook. at what mr is using to turn to fry a uh, tomato strainer is what he was using to stir the tomato in the pan as long as it comes out for us let me tell you when men enter the kitchen it's a struggle because you practically have to be there you can see you guys you can see he said the cooking but then <laughs> midway you will see that i took over huh, to fry turkey because he left the oil and the oil started burning but anyway he i actually it. had a call okay so you tried anyway at least but then you guys know i don't eat that but i was like you know what the children are not around one life let me just you know enjoyed the meal with the hobby and initially while we were home together i think the day before we didn't wait let me correct something you finished frying the turkey mm -hmm. i was the one i started it yeah so why can't you start something and finish it when i cook i cook and i finish and i clean up with the children and around. i had the call but then when you cook i have to clean up after you like i literally have to wash the place because if i don't wash the place he will either wash and not clear the sink or there will just be something that you have to do so initially when he said he was going to cook i was like oh my god stress 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 in the day before we didn't cook anything i don't think we cooked for like two days we bought food and i think that's the best way to live when the children go away there's no point cooking I, and i told him when look look at me now but it's not every cook. time i like eating out you know? Uh, but I think, I mean, it's like I'm trying to get a break from the children, so I also need a break from cooking. Mm. I don't want to have to be in the kitchen to cook and then clean up. It's not like I have anybody that will clean up after me. So when the girls are away, I'd rather just buy food or even not eat at all. I don't even mind not eating. Mm. But it was mm. good anyway. 
and then there was so much oil on the cooker of course i have to be the one to do the cleaning and mr Aban was very hungry at this point but as i don't mm -hmm. come don't get into my video let me clean this cooker hold on when i'm mm -hmm. done then you can eat um but yeah so but you could actually do this when we finish eating now I don't know. I just, I just can't stand knowing that it's such a mess and there was oil on the floor, and with oil on the floor, you start spreading it to different parts mm. of the house. So it's like me doing the job all over again. So no, I just, I just put it. But it was, it was really I've helpful. Seen my egg. Oh god, the oh egg was watery. I've egg. drained this egg at this point, guys. There was water under the egg. I don't drain them. After somebody cuts tomatoes, I won't drain the tomatoes as. As we're hungry now there's no time to check time. after you cut <laughs> after you cut tomatoes and not drain them anyway well, you still enjoyed i enjoyed it. it i'm not going to lie it was made with love so i actually enjoyed it and as usual we bond over movies a lot i think that's one thing that we bond over, we bond uh, over i even slept off safe yes at this point he was sleeping off i had to try and fix my vacuum the food cleaner was so much. Wait, at this point i haven't even fixed the vacuum cleaner i was trying to do something um from youtube and i ended up not being able to fix it Quite a day actually it's past five now since my children left i can't tell you what i've achieved when it comes to things i need to do when the children are away so sometimes it makes me feel guilty sometimes i'm thinking okay they're away why don't you you know cross those goals and then something else is like just rest like lie down and do nothing and most of the time that's also what my body wants to do just lie down and do nothing and that's what i've done in the last two days i woke up this morning i mentioned that i was going to film a video I straightened my wigs yesterday and I hate straightening wigs. I hate doing anything with hair because the sweeping, you know, before here, yeah, I swept and swept and swept. And because of that sweeping, I cleaned my vacuum the day before just so that I can pick up any hairs. I wouldn't use a broom. But then, you know, I cleaned the brush. There was a lot of like accumulated dust. So, me feeling that, okay, I've cleaned it, it will be up and running today and performing better than it was performing. I was on my phone, on YouTube, on Google loosening knots tightening them just trying all sorts of things and it just didn't work so i just had to contact the person i bought it from and then i told him to um he said he'll come and check it up weekend or during the week um so i've just been lying down here i've actually been watching bb Niger. um they were in the diary room um not long ago i think they're still in the diary room so tonight is the eviction show and I'm also watching Locked Up. I've been watching Locked Up today as well. I've not finished it, but I'm almost done. And at this point, Zoema is dead. And oh my God, like, I don't like how she died. But then, I don't know, how did I expect her to die, actually? How how would you expect that kind of person to die? I think she died like a boss that she is because it didn't make sense to make Zulema die, to make her die a stupid death, you know? Because of the kind of person she is, I guess that was why they make sure that she died in that way. So it was like she gave up herself, you know. She was like, you know what? I'm just going to take this bullet. Let, let's just be done with it, okay? So it was good that they made her make this film by herself. Um, yeah, but Macarena is the cockroach in the movie. She's constantly staying alive. Nothing is killing her. She's just been... <laughs> where you think she's going to die? Where you think she's not going to come out of something? She comes out of it. So I decided to do my meal prep. Um, I'm making pepper soup and sweet potato. Was this chicken? I forgot. Was it yeah, um, live? Chicken pepper soup. Was it frozen, live or frozen? Frozen chicken. Yes, Mr. Alban doesn't like frozen chicken. Please let me know from the, I like it's not like I like frozen chicken. I just like the, the fact that when you buy frozen chicken, okay, you yes. get different frozen. parts. Mm -hmm. You get different parts, but my husband likes like chicken. I would like to be you're getting two thighs, you're getting two wings, you're getting head, you're getting neck, you're getting chest. 
But most of all, you're getting your taste. That is the most important thing. Is the taste. But I like the taste. I won't lie. You always complain that it, it tastes too live, live. Yeah, it tastes too live. To be honest, it tastes too live for me. It's just I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I like live chicken, you know, but I just I can't be bothered. I can also eat frozen. Mm, so. Again, frozen. You don't know how long the thing has been frozen. I so agree. many things. Hey, hey, hey. You always posting the pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working. Soak in the moments you live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus, mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me takes the girls um, to stay with her I just think of what my life would be if I was married for this long like not even married for this long but if I was married without having children and I feel the thing about life is that um, depending on what you're experiencing you really can't you really don't appreciate I think we don't appreciate um, our present moment enough most times because we are looking for other things on the opposite side like i feel like my life would have been easier but then again i'm thinking i remember when i was trying to have ella how crazy i was going like i was like oh my god i want another baby so most of when i say things like this i have to remind myself of the period when i actually wanted a baby like there was a time in my life when i was desperate to have a child i remember like now when like when you pass or when you go past these hurdles sometimes for some people sometimes you don't really remember that period because i remember now on my phone i was always searching for ways to conceive after losing one tube on my phone you see me searching for clomid side effects of clomid like that was first time i heard of clomid heard about the procedure where they check if your tubes are blocked like i was researching constantly i would go on forums where women talked about um you know trying to conceive like it's crazy you know so when i say things like this i have to consciously remind myself that there was a time I actually wanted to have another baby or not like I didn't even have one I had base but I was desperate to have another baby so I'm really still grateful to have them but breaks like this are so important they just help you clear your head let me save my nose 9 30 I'm looking at the time as I'm doing all this let me save my food I'm on hiatus oh, baby don't check for me taking time out When I was done with my meal prep, I had two slices of bread and pepper soup, and that's what my hubby had as well. He went out and then he later got back at night, and then we decided to do what, do what we like to do best: we watch television. The pepper soup was delicious, even with the frozen chicken, Abby. Excuse me. Excuse me. We watched Skin on Netflix, and then the hubby slept. Out. Posting the pictures, trying to look like you're winning, or look like you always be working. Soaking the money. I'll just bring it to New York. I'll come back to London, you know? So, but opportunities kept coming up. So, when I wanted to leave, someone would say, Oh, come and show yourself. I would say attacks because that's what it felt like. I had pretty thick skin, pretty, pretty, pretty solid in my stance of who I am as a woman, as a person, as a human being. It is 2 a.m. 
people this is my life i don't sleep early i never sleep early but i just finished watching skin on netflix and it was such a good documentary i enjoyed it so much i love how well put together it was i love everything i love the videography i love the cinematography i love the music i love how beverly went deep into colorism and i don't know like i love that she didn't just stop at like the marketplace like the local marketplace i like that she dived into the medical aspect of it i like that she also went um the um history route and all of that I just i just really love it and i was watching this movie and um, this documentary and i was just like god please <sighs> I think when you watch things like this you realize that you have such a huge job to do especially if you're raising children you realize that you have such a huge job to do in their lives you have such a large impact to make in their lives and i think sometimes you know i'm bothered about things like oh finances like am i going to be able to take care of them um be able to provide for them but then it's like there's so much more to raising a child apart from the financial aspect of it there's you know bringing them up to be well-grounded human beings you know bringing them up to be confident in themselves and in the way they look and in their abilities and like it's just so much Whew, like sometimes um to be very honest sometimes when i think of what it is or how i want to raise my children i feel like i had a little too many i feel like with with how or with how much quality i want to put in when it comes to raising my children i just feel like maybe i should have just focused on giving all of that to one child you know as opposed to having three so it's like i'm seeing that there's so much work ahead of me and sometimes it makes me feel very overwhelmed but notwithstanding god is always going to be there he's, he's not going anywhere so i'm fully dependent on the grace of god and just the strength of god and of course the strength of community to pull through because to be honest you can't do this on your own we can't do this on our own and that's the reason why i am grateful that we have a lot of communities now where women can come together discuss things discuss problems and just figure out how to get through things like this together because if we didn't have communities like this honestly parenting motherhood everything will be a lot more difficult than they are we cannot rely on just the experiences of our parents of our mothers because it's a completely different ball game when it comes down to us so it just really had me my faith and then the few times i've really cried i kind of you know had a few tears but my husband you don't go sleep so i'm going to bed thank you guys for watching this video i will see you in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye